Well, right now in the water, we have the Australian Quinn Bruce versus the surfer from Hawaii, Cody Young. So nice contrast in styles and a member of the Snapper Rocks Board Riders Club. Here's to take a look at Quinn. Yeah, good in and out, but can't finish it off. Quick uh, 2.17 there for Quinn, and here we go. Cody gets a good turn and finishes it off much better than his opponent. Coming in and uh, quick start for the boys. 3.17 there for Cody. For Quinn Bruce, and here we go with Quinn. Nice turn off the top, gets it vertical again. So a combo of two vertical re-entries for the Australian competitor. And that's going to back his 217 up and highly likely give him the lead. Yeah, for sure he's going to get the lead. You just, just a polished performance there on that wave. Not too much to offer, but you could not extract any more numbers out of that wave. He uh, turned out of the lip on his first turn very well and then got a nice little bounce on the second one as we watch the replay. Good little drive around that, gets it up there. Sparky looking surfboard under his feet and finishes it, finishes it, finishes it off nicely. Well, nice job and the score coming through. Ooh, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a good mid-ranger, and that's all that Quinn can hope for on that wave of 4.67. So 4.67, 2.17, and the combination puts him in the lead. Here we go with Cody Young looking down the line. Nice snap, throwing a bunch of spray and a tighter arced finish. So two turns for Cody answering back, looking for a 3.68 or better to take over the lead and leapfrog back over Quinn Bruce. We're gonna see how that turns out. We're gonna leave that up to the judges. Let's take another look at it with Here Luke we Egan. go. Just nice, get some really nice speed, carves out of the top really well, comes around. Just make sure he finishes it off there, Kaipo. He just wanted to make sure that it was all finished, no mistakes. And then he's kind of caught himself up to Quinn and that was the right thing to do. This was one of my picks, this heat, because I can see it being a blow-by-blow -blow tussle. And to make it happen, Cody Young's not going to wait around. Looks like he's scratching into this one. Let's see if he comes up with it. He does. Long little wall in front of him, and he just kicks out with no opportunity, no harm, no foul, surfing under Quinn Bruce's priority. Seems strange, but what's really important out here today is how explosive your paddle is before you're even on your feet. He... Well, Cody Young took a look at Quinn Bruce and he, if you're not going to take it, I'm going to take it. I'm going to move down the line. I'm going to tap it one time and I'm going to kick out because there wasn't much going on on that wave. But just again, under priority, the red jersey, Cody Young's just going to keep on surfing, hoping that he can somehow muster up a score better than a 3.17, which is his backup and strengthen his lead over Quinn Bruce. You know, another 20 years is going to be behind him. Here we go, Quinn Bruce. Nice swing off the top and another swing off the whitewater before he kicks out. So that was uh, his utilization of priority there. 4.51 was the number that Quinn needed. Here's the replay, probably wait, probably wanting a bit more of a double up. Gets a good turn there, but didn't really eventuate into a good second turn. Now, I'm going to be on break next, but here we go with Quinn Bruce trying to get the lead back with a couple of good turns at throwing the tail on the first one, a little semi layback tail throw on turn number two. Just needs a 4.51 for Bruce. Did a good job on that, I thought, Luke. Could have got it. Could have got it. Let's look at the replay. Wow, it was nice and steep in the beginning. That's why he got the speed to bring the tail right around. Then it went a bit white watery, but he throws the tail around one more time. 11 minutes, 45 seconds, so plenty of time. Interestingly enough, Cody Young's going to utilize his priority on this wave. A little just bank to start off on Sawmore down the line. Nice little rotation. A couple of tight radius turns for Cody, and then finishes off with a nice front hand stab to the lip. First, you'd be going, why are you going this? He just gets a little tap, but he, he knew down the line this wave was going to come good. Really good snap. Gets another little setup turn there. Comes to the inside and really finishes it nice. 
and uh, flicks out. So I think it is going to better his six. Let's see what happens. And here it is. Quinn Bruce live action moving down the line. A nice off the top. A nice snap. Catches that outside rail. Uh, perhaps a missed opportunity for Bruce. Absolutely. That's more live action here with Cody Young. Getting busy. Large frame surfer from Maui, but looking light footed. Just tap dancing here at Bombo Beach. And uh, probably has a little bit of bit of Mr. Bojangles in his head right now. That's a way throwback right there. I, most of you kids are going to have to it's going to have to research that uh, that reference on your smartphone. Here we go. Let's take another look. Luke. Yeah, good looking wave comes around the section. Good first turn. Get some good flair on the second and the third. And how about the fourth? Here we go. Little snap on the inside. That was a good wave pretty good so we'll see if he's going to better that 4.70 and this was unfortunate for Quinn really good first turn Sparky out of the top just kind of too too front footed on that second slash and going down that could have been his 603 prior to Cody Young's wave we're still waiting for a score for here we go Cody just a quick up and out but the previous wave the highest single wave score of the heat for Cody Young, a 7.23 big pressure now on Quinn Bruce. Quinn out there in the blue needing an 8.56. So 7.23, you called that wave. Luke, do you think that was the appropriate score there? Because to me, he went to town. Yeah, he did as we see Quinn Bruce. Some nice turns on his backhand. Had priority then. Oh, that was a good turn. Is he going to finish it off? Not quite. Hmm. Things that make you go, hmm, great surf left. The angle was kind of, you know, Quinn Bruce was surfing away from us. So maybe we get, didn't get the full impact of that. Let's take a look at that wave from front on, Luke. Yeah, deciding to go left. Gets a vertical turn to start off. Comes around, slashes. Another little slash to set up the inside. And... Doesn't really close out this wave, so just flicking out. Here we go, Cody Young, our heat leader. And surfing confidently. A couple of vertical off the top, so wants to spin to win there with a nice little Revo. Well done. Yeah. Is it going to top his six-point ride? Uh, we'll have to watch that one again. But uh, Cody looking good. Here it is. Good outside turn. Just gets hung up a little bit, spins it round. See so what the judges think. It'll be right there, but uh, I'm not too sure. What do you think, Kaipo? Let's take another look. Just this turn there just turned into a bit of a flick, but this was the money turn, bringing it right around. And um, you've been a great judge so far. Well, we'll see what that score comes in. Here's back to live action with Quinn Bruce. Throws, hucks, a that beautiful tail high, air reverse. Might better one of his scores. Here we go, getting plenty of speed, deciding to throw it up and around into a reverse. Here we go, good speed here by Quinn. Wow, it looks better from that angle, and that's the angle the judges are looking at. For Quinn Bruce, but it doesn't matter because the clock's ticking down and Cody Young's going to use priority. Incomplete, but did a great job strategically of playing a little bit of defense against Quinn Bruce. And we hear the countdown on the beach, and that's going to be the end of the run for the Gold Coast surfer Quinn Bruce and Cody Young. He's going to continue on into round number four.